All right, guys. <clears throat> so here is a calculated saltwater battery, I guess. It's not really calculated because I don't know the volts and amps. I can figure out the volts, but my voltmeter sucks, so I can't ever figure out the amps, which really sucks. So hopefully I get enough views to start funding it because I'm powering motors with this saltwater battery idea. So if you've seen my previous videos, I'm still using the same copper wire in my spring, not corroded. I just cleaned them and I filled it up with more water and my top got a little wet. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna make sure my video is working. Um, I'm gonna hook up my leads now. Still the same salt water. I just paused the video real quick because my kid distracted me. So this is actually the negative lead, thankfully. I fixed my leads. And here's my positive. And now, when I plug it in, you will see the water start to sizzle. See the water sizzling as it charges. There we go. That's probably the best angle I got. Now, as you can see, the salt seems to be reacting highly to the magnetic metals, which is the mag uh, steel spring, and it's forming bubbles all the way to the top. There's only five volts and one amp of current going into the battery. I just cleaned it. It seemed whatever that the battery did, it also cleaned my copper. I mean, really give it, gave it a good cleaning. My copper doesn't seem to be corroding now. As you can tell, there's nothing even coming off of my copper. Uh, I'm just going to leave it charged for a little bit. Look at that. The salts seems to be stimulating up through, up through my spring. That's actually a really cool image on how this battery works. It's really neat. Some cool science stuff, huh? But, oh, there we go. That's actually not a bad angle at all. Sorry about the trash can. But, there we go. And now you can see my water is getting stimulated as the voltage is pumping, pumping through. And it's coming up through my spring. Some sort of magnetic reaction. I guess turning my spring into a magnet. It's really, really neat. I wish I had a better camera for this because I think you guys would really, really like the HD quality. All right, so I haven't been charging it that long. What I'm gonna do is unplug it and see how well this one already works. It seems to be spinning faster than before. I used a tablespoon of salt, and this is just a, a one pint jar of water, filtered water. And uh, I mean, I don't know how long this one's gonna spin for, but it's only got one tablespoon of salt and the salt isn't even completely broke down so I'm not really sure how strong the battery is how it's how strong it's going to be but you can see it's spinning my motor and uh, I'll disconnect my leads from my charger here hook them back up to my battery uh, yep there we go <clears throat> And voila. I think that's a good good uh, picture right there.
Hell yeah. Keep in touch, guys. And remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I'm trying to get as many followers as I can to see this in action, so. Peace.